All right, so here we are. We're going to do an ingrown toenail procedure. So if we come over here, we have this ingrown nail. We've already numbed him up, which we've shown in a prior video. We're going to, we've already confirmed with him that it's this side. We're going to snip the nail. So we take this instrument called an English anvil nail nipper, and you're just going to feel a little pressure, okay? Any pain? No. Okay, good. And we're going to push that all the way back to the base of the nail, and we're going to split the nail, and that splits the nail. Then we're going to take a beaver blade, a number 62 beaver blade, and we're gonna push the nail underneath because the nail actually goes underneath the skin. So we're going underneath the skin, okay? Then we're gonna get a little gauze here. And this isn't gonna bleed a lot, hopefully, because we have a tourniquet on. This is actually a makeshift tourniquet with a glove. The reason we use that is so there's minimal bleeding. What we're doing here, we're gonna now grasp the nail. We're gonna take out the part of the nail that's ingrown, and we're gonna grab it, and we're just gonna turn it a little bit and by turning it, we're removing the nail. And this is the part of the nail that's ingrown. And that's you know, a decent sized piece of nail. Then we're gonna go back here. We're gonna dry this out a little bit. And we're going to see that's the tissue. Uh, that's the space. This underneath the nail is the nail bed. The nail bed is just skin. I'm gonna take an instrument called a curette and we're using all sterile instrumentation here. And we're gonna basically use the curette to scrape the nail matrix. The nail matrix is that little white tissue under your nail, and that's the living nail cells. And we're gonna scrape those nail cells because we kind of wanna scrape them off of, they're, they actually lay right over what's called the periosteum, which is part of actually bone. Okay, so we're scraping those a little bit. And we're gonna make sure there's no tissue debris in there. We're getting a little debris out of there. We wanna make sure it's nice and Free of any debris and then we're gonna put acid under there and what the acid does is it kills the nail matrix which is right in here the nail matrix is basically from here back and we're gonna kill that so that the nail does not continue to grow back so basically we dip a q-tip which we're not seeing on the camera this q-tip on the tip has what's called 89% phenol and we stick that under the nail matrix against the matrix and against the nail bed and you can see it's turning a little black because as it interacts with the blood, that blood is coagulating. We want to try and keep this stuff off the skin, okay, because it's a chemical and it creates a chemical burn, and we're chemically burning this nail. And as we do that, we'll see that the bleeding will really stop because there's also a cauterization effect. We're going to do that four separate times, and we're going to stick it underneath, and we're going to just kind of twist it, okay? I'm going to go back and forth. You can see the tissue on the skin is getting a little white. That's from the acid. And the patients need to be informed that after this procedure, it's going to get red. Why is it going to get red? Because we're purposely burning the toenail. We're burning the nail so it doesn't grow back. What happens when you have a burn? It blisters or it drains. So one of the big risk factors for this procedure is infection if they don't clean it out properly. Nails harbor a lot of bacteria, so there's always an inherent risk of infection. And what we're doing is we're just twirling our Q-tip with the acid on it, and we're burning that, and this will also stop bleeding on the nail bed. All right, we're gonna do one more. And you can kind of see in there that that goes underneath. You can see in there that that's, there's no bleeding, okay? And we're gonna do one more piece, oh, excuse me, one more Q-tip. And then after we're done with that, after a couple Q-tips worth of that, we're gonna actually flush this out with rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, just to flush the area out. We'll do that on some Q-tips first, and then we'll put a little alcohol on a gauze. So we're gonna just you know, get in there with the Q-tip, make sure we, you're not dilute, you're, technically you're diluting a little bit, really you're just flushing it, okay, to get it out of there. Put it on the skin a little bit. And then I like to just take our um, gauze that we used. Just put a little bit of this on here. Just make sure you rinse the area, just the adjacent toe, just to make sure nothing is residual on the skin. And ideally, when this heals up, the skin will grow adjacent to his nail. Now, he does have a little bit of an elevated nail here, which we've discussed. It'll probably, you know, it, it will always be that way because that's his nail anatomy. And the goal of this is simply to get rid of the pain. Um, from the ingrown toenail. And this is a very successful procedure. The recovery for this is about two to four weeks for full recovery. That doesn't mean you're not active. Most people are back in a shoe in a day or two. Um, they're doing local wound care. 
And when this heals, ideally the skin is going to come up like that, and he's going to have a nail that the skin is adjacent to it. And, you know, like I stated earlier, he has a little bit of elevation to his nail, so this might sit a little higher, but it's nice and straight and will be pain-free um, if everything works out like we're hoping it will. I'm going to put a little gel on here and a 4x4 four four gauze and a little coban, which is a wrap. I'm going to put a little coban on there, wrap it up, and we're going to let the tourniquet off. It's going to leave a little mark at the base of his toe, which will go away. You can already see that the circulation is back to the tip of his toe. It's nice and pink. And that'll be that. So thank you for uh, watching the video on an ingrown toenail. Thank you for letting us video your ingrown toenail. You're going to be an internet star. And um, you'll call us with any questions. We'll see him back in two weeks, barring any complications. Patients are given a kit to take home with all the supplies, written instructions, um, an open surgical shoe, and are, of course, always encouraged to call us if there's any problems. We will gladly see them uh, usually the same day if there's an issue with the toe. Thanks.